Hi everyone, in this video I just want to put some light on the defects of vision. There are basically four types of defects. One is uh, myopia, hypermetropia, presbyopia and cataract. Let us see about each and every defect separately. First of all, what is myopia? For a person who is suffering from myopia, distant objects cannot be seen clearly whereas he can see nearby objects clearly because the image will be formed before the retina for this person. The causes for myopia are excessive curvature of eyelids and elongation of eyeball. Whereas this myopia can be corrected using biconcave lens. Now let us move towards second defect of vision which is hypermetropia. What is hypermetropia? For hypermetropic person, Nearby objects cannot be seen clearly, but distant objects he can see clearly. Because for this person, image will be formed beyond the retina. What are the causes for this hypermetropia? Eyeball of this hypermetropic person becomes uh, too small and also focal length of eye lens become too long. Now let us see how can we correct hypermetropia. Hypermetropia can be corrected by using biconvex lens. Whereas for myopia, we use biconcave lens. Let us see the third defect of vision, which is presbyopia. What is presbyopia? For a presbyopic person or for a person who is suffering from presbyopia, near point recedes away. Sometimes the person suffers from both myopia and hypermetropia. What are the causes for this uh, presbyopia? Gradual weakening of uh, ciliary muscles which plays an important role because of aging and also reducing power of accommodation. It can be corrected by using bifocal lens which has uh, both concave and convex lens. Now the last defect is cataract. What is meant by cataract? For a person who is suffering from cataract, his uh, eye lens becomes his or her eyelids becomes milky and cloudy. What are the reasons? Formation of protein layer on the eyelids make the eyelids milky and cloudy. How can we correct cataract? With the help of surgery. So these are the four important defects of vision which are there in our NCRT 10th physics. For each and every defect, we have seen what is meant by the defect, what are its causes and how can we correct them. Thank you very much for watching this video.